Welcome back to the fourth part on getting started with ABAP development. In the last video, we created and ran our first ABAP application. In this video, we will display database contents and run SQL queries. You will display the content of tables and views using data preview and perform ad hoc SQL queries using SQL Console. This video will prepare you for the next video where we will reuse the select statement later for the data retrieval in an ABAP class. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is choose execute ABAP objects or run ABAP objects. So now we're going to select the sales order inventory um, database table, select OK. And as you can see, you will see the database table in the data preview. So we're going to just select columns and then deselect all and just select currency code and gross amount. Choose OK. Next, we're going to add filter and, and choose currency code. And we're going to adjust this to USD. Once we have done that, we will now perform ad hoc SQL query using SQL Console. So select SQL Console. And the SQL Console shows the select statement, which was used to retrieve the data for the data preview. We will now adjust the select statement to read the payment status of the order and the company name from the buyer. To do this, we will first add a join condition. And so we're going to add a join condition for the table um, sales order inventory head. So I'm just going to copy the code for time's sake. Next, we will update the where clause and change it to the following code. So now that we have updated the where clause, we will now add a field to the select list. So we will adjust this and have this as the inventory head. So we will add the field payment status from the table inventory head to the select statement. Um, and payment status, the field payment status. So next, we're going to run the query. The output on the right side should contain the payment status as shown. And now we're going to adjust the select statement. So from, so we're going to add a joint condition for the, for the business partner table. Um, so, I will now just copy the following code and adjust the select statement to that. So now that we have added a joint condition for the business partners table, we will now add the company name field. So go back to our select list and add the company name. So we're going to add the field company from the table of business partners table and add that onto our select list. So now that we have done that, we'll add an order clause and we're going to adjust that. So this will basically sort the results by the company name of the buyer. So Now we're going to run the query that we just modified. So select run again, and then we're going to check the output. So as you can see, the company's names are now in order. 
and all the gross amount is all set as well. So we will reuse this select statement for the data retrieval in an ABA class. So continue to stay tuned and we'll leave this SQL console open for the next part of the tutorial. We have now displayed database contents and ran SQL queries. In the next video, we will create a new ABAP dictionary structure and create a global ABAP class in which you will retrieve data from a database. See you in the next video.